How was she? And the Enterprise. Ah, Sid. <laughs> Just the man I was hoping to see. D -d Did you have a mo? Don't tell me. You need more bomb ash. Oh, no. We still got plenty of that left. I'm working on bringing another one of the Chief's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that, that, um, let's just say it gets very blimmin' hot. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only mithril engines get hotter, and you can't chuck ore in one of them and get metal out the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. And I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Any chance you could help me too? If it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. I promise you. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? We've got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. Or fallen materials. So this smelter is similar to the Mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. We've collected as many as we can, and I know where we can get the rest. Trouble is, they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. So you want me to visit some ruins, destroy some echoes, and bring back the spheres they're guarding? That's it in a nutshell, yeah. We're only three short, Mike, and we know exactly where they are. There's one up Amber Way, in that ruin that they call Lost Plume, and another in the Silent South over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent, which is in the Empire. All right then. Wish me luck. Will do. I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. Canva in the hands of Clive. Here you go. Think you can help? Heard the bad news then, did you? What bad news? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old horn. With the forge and all that. Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. A Akashic. Every creature in the area is either turned, or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help, and quick. Doris sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. If something ain't done soon, the old place will be overrun. I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. He'd only do something stupid. You reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Yeah, well... I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravosht. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least.
Can I help you, Sid? I'm looking for Doris. Is she here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment. And about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the Beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. once fast. to go.
That's all of them. A wine can uncross his toes now. Or it should be somewhere nearby. Assuming she's still here. It doesn't still hurt, does it? God. It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. How goes the investigation? Sid. What brings you to Martha's Rest? You. I heard you were out here on your own, tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away, and then vanished without a trace. That was her just now, wasn't it? So, was it a fruitful reunion? I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sambrek. After her brush with those beastmen on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort, which she wants me to join. She's dangerous, Sid, but I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? The Baum Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. Slaver, I wonder. We've waited long enough. She's not coming. <laughs> Ready the bearers. We're leaving. Back to civilization, is it, Mom? With all haste, lest any of you lackwits start talking like these feckless bumpkins. I presume your men are ready. We've suffered too many delays as it is. Any more, and I'll be docking your pay. Uh, yes, Mom. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have company. Kill him. You're welcome to try. So much for your escort. <laughs> You'll forgive me for not avenging my men. 
I'm not the swordswoman I used to be. I surrender. Do with me as you wish, Sid the Outlaw. Sid! Ah, Doris. I take it you're not here to rescue me from our brooding renegade? You know, I always wondered where you'd vanished to. But casting your lot with this criminal of all people. Better fighting for a cause than killing for coin. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have told you sooner. This woman, my former master, once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the highest bidder. She raised me like a daughter, and I did terrible things to earn her favor. It wasn't all terrible, surely. We had our fun, too. You were always so eager to learn, and had such clever hands. All my other children took either to the blade or to the books. Always either or. But you proved yourself a master of both. That's why I kept you for my own. How about it, my little dagger? Care to swear that blade to me again? I never swore my blade to you, nor will I ever. I fight for a higher cause, to liberate the bearers of this world. Farewell, master. Thank you for making me the weapon I am. You always were a righteous child. Perhaps that's the reason I loved you so. What do you want to do with her? I am not the killer she wanted me to be. Not anymore. And she no longer has friends in high places. The dame does, though. Her connections at the Imperial Court will see that justice is done. All right. If you're certain. I am. And thank you. For everything. Now, I'd better let these bearers know that they're safe. I should head back to the hideaway and put Cole's mind at ease. Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across the border. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Oh, and your letter. You don't need to worry about Doris anymore. I'd been hoping as much. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So the slaver we'd been chasing all these months was her former master. <laughs> Wish I'd known. She's been arrested, by the way, over in Sambrek. Went quietly, or so we're told. But she won't be getting off lightly. The Empire may have no love for bearers, but it's none too fond of black market traders either. Can't have been easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. But don't worry. She'll be all right. I hope so. Suppose you should know, eh? You had quite the past yourself before you came here, or so I understand. Anyway, thanks again, Sid. The Curse Breakers would be lost without Doris. And you, of course. Keep up the good work, Cole. How was she? The Enterprise, I mean. Ah, Sid! Wasn't expecting you back so soon. So, is it good news or bad? Good, thankfully. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's brilliant! Thanks a blimmin' million! I'll fit him to the smelter right away! 
I present to you the Telemon Furnace in Parishi. She's a beauty. You saved my beacon again, Sid, and I ain't about to let your good deed go unrewarded. It's it's fine, really. My bag's uh, flexible enough already. Oh, don't say that. I'm sure I can make a few improvements to it yet. You could just buy me a bigger... How about that clasp? Looks a bit stiff. Reckon you could loosen it up and make some more room? And I reckon I know how. With a new alloy we've been working on, the Telemon Furnace was just what we needed to perfect it. It's a metal, see? So it's lovely and strong, but it's also, well, stretchy, if you can believe it. Stretchy metal. <laughs> Well, if you insist. That is the spirit. You will love it. I promise. So, what do you reckon? <laughs> it's actually quite ingenious. Thank you, Owain. You mention it. You earned it. And I wanted to get some practice in using that metal anyway. Reckon we'll have all kinds of uses for it around the hideaway. Can't think of any right now, but that's our job, innit? Dreaming up new ways to make life easier around here. Maybe even out there, too. One day, the whole world's gonna know about the inventions you've helped us put together. That bag of yours will be the first of many. You mark my words. They'll hardly believe their eyes, I'm sure. So Dravosht is still standing. For now at least. If you can swing a hammer. Clive! You're here! And the Akashic? Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris' scouts and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes, at least. Well done. Welcome back. Sid. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Dravosht would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw? Keen to help us out again? I am. Thought you could sneak off without me, did you? Blackthorn. Oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate who didn't think I deserved to know. Zoldan, how long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old codgers, I see. Then your idea of an apology? Prick. Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. I did, yeah. But they ain't the whole of it. Vulcan, our master, didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me. The best blacksmith in Dravosht, barring himself, of course. 
bloody stupid tradition in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you wasted half of mine instead. You're what Dravel's needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty! Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravoj is safe. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah. So have I. Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. We're short enough on time as it is. Still, give us a mo, would you? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. You, uh, ready for the off, then? We can't afford to waste any more time. Right you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts, though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and... Blackford? You and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the... Akashic on the move! How close are they? Within sight of the walls. And there are more coming up from the mines. <sighs> What was I saying about nasty surprises? They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. We're pulling back behind the gates. Good idea. Get yourselves inside, but keep your weapons handy. Understood. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stand, you hear me? No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what Akashic beasts can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing, but they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. Start work on the gate as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. And if they kill you? You evacuate. But it won't come to that. I promise. <laughs> You'd better be right. Take good care of Dravoj till I get back. Leave it to me. And... Give those things what for, yeah?
Is that it? Apparently not. Question is, did I miss any? Man alive! You're still in one piece! I slow as many as I could. <laughs> as many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like it. Well, almost. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you worry. Good. Though you do know, more will come in time. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. Sid! <laughs> You're even more fearsome than your reputation. Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. I almost felt sorry for the wretched things. But mostly, I felt grateful. Dravos won't forget what you did today. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well... I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. With the flood springing up all over, 
It's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the north, and I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, that's twice you've turned up when Dravosh needed you. So... thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. <laughs> Too bloody right you shouldn't. Though I doubt I'd have listened. I always... envied you. How you made everything look so easy when, for me, it was anything but. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. <laughs> and from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. But what you said earlier... It was true. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally. Something we can agree on. I hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Dravoj isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day because it's easy and turns a profit. It's not about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. The average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. <laughs> I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. And I wish I could accept, but I'm needed elsewhere. There's people who trust their lives to my steel. And I dare let him down. Uh, fair enough. But that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> Knowing him, he'd let you in anyway. Blackthorn. The Master Smith turned outlaw. Back in my good graces. I never thought I'd see the day. I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? Even better than I'd hoped. Sid, I've got something for you. And this is? A token of our lasting gratitude. But I'm of a mind to make you a far grander gift. Designs for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief for generations. Now hold on, Sultan. There's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel, and I've learned to own an edge Odin will be proud of. But the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. And they're not just for show, either. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravorst in the first place? Hmm? A certain ring? I knew I'd never surpass you with the hammer and tongs. So I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork. Between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. <laughs> you know what? I think you might be right. Clive, you wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Idaway, would you? <laughs> He's more than welcome. As long as he can keep our secret. Right. Zoltan, get your tools. We've got a legend to forge.
come back. Oh, don't tell me we run out of happy on us. Ah, the man himself. We were just about to make a start on that sword, I promised you. It's funny. But none of this would have been possible without your help. You remember Camille? We'll be using his level work for the grip. The steel, meanwhile, will be tempered in a fire burning the cinders you charmed out of old Zoltan here. And that wet stone from the outer isles? That'll be what gives the blade its edge. And the final flourish will be my talented colleagues engraving. A team effort led by the greatest blacksmith alive. <laughs> now, now, save that talk to the thing's finished, yeah? Right. I'm ready if you are. To the bellows it is, then. of you. So, does this make you pair the greatest craftsman alive, then? <laughs> this? <laughs> nah. This was just following the footsteps of the greats of old. It'll take more than that to earn us our place in history. But we're up for the challenge. Here. Yeah. A list of materials. Zoltan and I got talking on the long road back from Dravoist. We reckon with those items there... We could craft something even better than the Ragnarok. Something worthy of a legendary outlaw like yourself. That's a weapon I'd like to see. You leave this list with me. I was hoping you'd say that. One legend at a time, eh, lads? Before you start on the next, who fancies raising a cup to friendship reforged? Good idea. No more drinking to forget my past. It's about time I had something to celebrate. <laughs> then tap the kegs! Vulcan's boys are on their way! Zoltan would ever speak again, let alone work together. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't. You've been a good friend of me, Clive. The best. So, what'd it be? Not bad, if I do say so myself. Is that it? 